Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Nana's Late Night Kitchen where we are going to make candy. Except that I left my mole on the other side of the camera. So I'm gonna stick that here. I'm Dorothy from Rossville, Georgia, and I am on a quest for 90 days of live. I almost missed this one, guys. And um, we're doing some holiday treats. So in my bowl, I have half a cup of um, pecan butter. That's what I'm using. You could use an all natural peanut butter. Um, all that is, the only ingredient in here is pecan and salt. So that's what you're after guys, um, all natural. So half a cup of that. I have half a cup of uh, coconut oil um, that I'm gonna put in here. And then um, half a cup of chocolate of your choice. Uh, Lily's is my choice. It has no sugar in it. And I'm gonna choose white even though I know that this is gonna turn colors uh, just because I used the um, dark chocolate earlier. And I'm gonna stick this in the microwave and get the, uh, melt this up, and then we'll continue on. So guys, like I said, oh, let's not do it for three minutes. That would not be good. So guys, I am Dorothy from Rossville, Georgia. If you're catching me live, you'll see the live up in the corner. Uh, put a drop a one below. If you're catching me in the future or on a replay, hashtag replay, drop that below. And if you'll tell me where you're coming from and if you're new to Nana's Kitchen, I would love to know if you've ever seen Nana's Kitchen before. And guys, if you find any value in my kitchen, please share it out. Sharing is caring. I'd love to give you a full name shout out. Now white chocolate is a little more temperamental than um, the darker chocolate. So I'm just gonna melt this slowly so I can make sure not to scorch it. But the idea is that um, the coconut oil, the pecan butter and the chocolate will all be nice and melted. So that's going back in another 30 seconds. Guys, I'm actually also waiting up till 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because um, the company that I am um, with that have wonderful PTKs um, are, are doing a 12 days of Christmas drop. And um, so every night or morning, uh, they are dropping a product the first night of Christmas was a oh my tie. The second night of Christmas was an orange um, protone, and I'm so excited to know what the third night of Christmas is. I have lots of wishes, so I'm hoping that my, some of my wishes will come true. So, if you're interested in um, getting a trial of some of these, just uh, drop trial below. And guys, are you, do you bake for Christmas? Do you make treats for Christmas? I am actually on a fast. Um, I am, let's see, 8, 8 p.m. was uh, 24 hours. I am headed to 60. So Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. Will be the end of my fast. Now that's an assisted fast. We call it a reboot, and we do that every single month. To my melted uh, chocolate uh, peanut butter, I am going to add um, a fourth of a cup of pistachios. You can add any nut you want. I liked the green color. I am going to add a, a third of a cup of coconut. Um, unsweetened coconut and I've just spilt it on the counter one half cup of swerve confectionery a teaspoon of pure vanilla 
Christina. How are you, baby girl? Happy birthday. How does it feel? Congratulations. I'm so excited about you getting your learner's permit. It's hard to believe that you are officially 15 years old. Absolutely. You're my favorite youngest granddaughter. All right, guys, I'm going to mix this up. Just going to make sure that that confectionery sugar is just incorporated well so that there's no chunks of the confectioner's sugar. Okay. And then we're going to put it in our neat little Christmas molds. So I'm just going to drop this into the mold. Um, each one, well, the Christmas tree takes a little less than the others, but um, the others were taking a, almost two tablespoons. It was just shy under two tablespoons, but we're just going to fill them, not overfill them, but fill them and press that in. And then these are going to go into the freezer um, for about 45 minutes. Um, and then those will come out, and I'll show you the finished product in just a second. Now, you will keep storing these in the refrigerator once you've made them. They don't have to be stored in the freezer, but they do need to be stored in the refrigerator. And my husband did try these earlier, tried one of the others earlier, and uh, he liked it. So he was, I, I was like, well, are you gonna tell me? Are you gonna tell me? He's, he's really camera shy, doesn't like to get on camera, so I didn't put him on camera to try it, but he did like it, so I think these would be good if you added um, for the uh, other color besides the green pistachio, if you added um, just a little bit of chopped dried cranberry, so you would have the green of the um, pistachio and the red of the cranberry. I think that that would be very festive. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Sharon. How are you? We are just making candy. I am putting it in the mold. This should be my last one. Well, maybe two more. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a, another one. We will see. So guys, I got two, four, six, eight, ten um, candies out of that. Okay, and now let me get you my finished ones from earlier. That's why I'm a little late getting on because I needed to get a set made for you so you could see it. Okay. Hang on one second. Alright guys, 
and there they are. What do you think? Um, I will cut into one. I won't try it, but my husband won't mind eating one I've cut. Let's cut open that Christmas package. You can see the bits of green and the bits of white. So don't you think that that would be very pretty with just a little bit of crushed or chopped up um, dried cranberries just for that nice red flavor. You don't want to add too many carbs by adding um, the dried fruit, but as a little bit of a treat and since you're not putting that many in there, um, I think that that would be fine. So guys, again, sharing is caring. I would love to give you a full name shout out for sharing. And uh, again, if you are interested in my Holly Jolly bundles of the 12 days of Christmas, hello, Christine, um, just drop that down also. And I'm so excited. Oh, I don't have my watch on. I have about 45 minutes for tonight's drop and I cannot wait. I'm hoping for like latte nut cream or marshmallow um, something or another. I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming up uh, flavors <laughs> for the holidays, but we will see what drops tonight and I will let you know. Hello, Johnny, how are you? Um, we just finished up making some candy treats for Christmas. So uh, catch that on a replay and um, hope all is well with you and yours. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful evening. Stay healthy and safe. And I'll see you next time in Nana's Kitchen. Bye, guys.